And I feel like that was a setup. I think that you just set me up here. I think you saw and you're like, I'll help you way distracted by this Harry Potter Quidditch cup because he's a freaking nerd. But you were really trying to get this in here. Welcome home, Red Pack. Marcus here, and welcome to Comfort Cartoons, the show where I collect absolutely everything from the late 90s, 2000s, all the way to the modern day. And I'm also trying to create the world's biggest SpongeBob and Nickelodeon collection. <laughs> and the owner slash CEO of this channel happens to be the number one penny pincher. And that's also why we have this light that keeps flickering on and off. I really wish you would give us a budget to replace that one. And also get rid of Nosferatu! But I hope you guys are having an amazing day, and if you guys aren't, you know the drill. One man's trash is another man's treasure. Camera. Flat! A buck fifty for that! But it's an antique. It belonged to a queen. Ten bucks. It was pretty good, it was pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> it's about to get a whole lot brighter red pack because your boy is here. And today is gonna be so much fun because it is the new year, 2023. And we are gonna be filming one of your favorite series on this channel and that is thrift hunting. We're gonna be going to my local thrift store which we pretty much always come out with something. I mean, you've seen it before. Me and Parker always make out of that place. Like bandits, really. Yeah, we would make out in the, the shoe department. So you're gonna have to do it too. Your lips ready? No, they're always chapped. Well, that's convenient, isn't it? Yeah, I came prepared this time. Oh, okay, well next time come unprepared. All right guys, I'm giving him a hard time. We won't force him into making out yet. But we're not just gonna be going to one store today, we are gonna be going to three of them. We usually do one store in these videos and it takes up the entire table. Ryan will show you some of the shots of the stuff we've had in past hauls. And check it. <laughs> Bro, what the heck? Let's see what we got here, let's pull everything out. Oh my gosh, I think it's all in there. And that's our local one. So I'm gonna be going to that same thrift franchise, but all three locations in my area today because it's the new year. You've seen the gyms, everybody's in there. You've seen the trash outside of your house. Everybody's throwing out their old stuff. It is a time for a new start for everybody. So they get rid of a lot of their old stuff and they donate them at places like Goodwill or sell them at flea markets. So today we're going to the thrift store and in a coming video, I'm gonna be going to the flea market with my mom and we're gonna find all that stuff. People think, oh yeah, I'm gonna donate this stuff and it's basically out of my life. Well, they are, but I'm bringing it into my life. It will be my burden to bear. I don't know, we are gonna find some awesome stuff. We're gonna go hunt for anything. Nickelodeon, SpongeBob, Disney, Cartoon Network, 90, 2000s, anything that fits the vibe. Anyway, let's go ahead into the car. Before we get in the car, this guy right here, of all the lights in here, he's at least bright. Damn. Kind of a kind of a dunce. Definitely the Patrick of the room here. So go ahead and give him a nice little smack. Nice little smack. That's not aggressive enough. Oh, like that. Damn. Okay guys, so we're gonna head to the thrift store again. We're going to all three locations here. And it's also raining, so I'm hoping we can find some gold because I think that would actually limit how many people are outside right now for sure. Yeah, hopefully. And hopefully. But to introduce him, this is the man, Mitchell. And he's been on the channel for a long time. You guys may have seen him in other videos in the past on ADHD's World, ADHD's Life. But now he's also gonna be filming for this channel, Comfort Cartoons. There were so many different things I could have done as far as getting somebody to film, but I felt like Mitchell would be the perfect person because we literally been best friends since what eighth grade yeah eighth grade so right now on screen you'll see some of our photos from middle school and i mean i think we were probably the coolest kids in school for sure oh we had everything yeah the tech decks ds yeah whatever we, yeah we were golden no <laughs> we, we were not the coolest kids in the school but mitchell was my first friend in middle school i remember waking up every single morning getting to school and asking you did you see ben 10 always <laughs> puka whatever show was on in the morning we would talk about it so the man is a cartoon fan as well well, obviously probably not maybe as um to an unhealthy degree as me maybe right not as avid no but i've watched a lot yes <laughs> but he has watched a lot but he also has been editing for the channel for so long and still is going to be editing for adhd's world here and there and also for anime avenue so he already knows pretty much what we do i mean you know how the camera flip goes yeah. all the stuff so i mean he's been a part of the channel always so i'm glad to be able to introduce you to mitchell i mean he loves you guys whether he's gotten to say it or not i do love you guys yeah he's been a huge impact in the content we've made on the channel whether you guys knew it or not so i think it's gonna be perfect and mitchell's got his own personality that's gonna be so much fun to dive into he's an extremely sweet person super nice and not just that a very genuine real person so you'll get to see that a little bit more as we dive into it but let's go ahead and head to our first store it's gonna be the close one after that we got some driving to do okay you guys can see people are loading up stuff right now from the new year so i mean hopefully they've put some of that stuff on the shelves and like i said it doesn't seem like there's that many people oh. <laughs> i was gonna say this is like there's that many people but the parking lot is quite as full as ever but i mean looking inside it looks like it might be kind of toned down a bit let's go ahead and check out what they got at the first location okay so they moved their stuff around in the store 
were. But the thing is, is they had the roly poly oly rhino pop it up on screen last time we were here. And that is gone. And I'm kind of triggered because I think they lowered the price because nobody paid that much. But either way, they don't have that. So maybe they put it in the toy section. Who knows? I'm just going to take over from here. Let's check out what they have. We got the Teddy Ruck spin doll right here with the original packaging and the VHSs in there. That's not really something we necessarily need to collect, but it also has a Berenstein Bears in there. That's kind of weird to have like a non Berenstein Bear. And then advertise Berenstein Bear. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, let me tell you about this other bear family and their stories. I don't got much. I'm a doll that just sits here and reads things out of a VHS, so I don't got much of a backstory. <laughs> okay, we found our first item here, dude. This is the Christmas tree from Charlie Brown, like the oh, actual one that he has. I don't know if everything's in there. This is just something I want to put in my house on a counter because it's so iconic. It definitely it's clean too. Yeah, it's clean too. We're gonna grab this and definitely one of my favorite cartoons. It's not really for my time, but it's definitely part of everybody's childhood. Okay, so we found a Peppa Pig lunchbox here, but the main one we're gonna get is the Buzz Lightyear one. They also have a Jesse Smollett one <laughs> that did not age well. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, move that one by. But we're gonna grab this guy. <laughs> I don't know what this is, but I think that there is a, maybe it's by VTech, but there's a, there's one that we're looking for. It's a VTech Excite bike, I think. We are looking for that because we have multiple games for it. Some kind of VTech games that actually you have to have a ride because of a VR simulated screen. I don't think this is it, but it seems something similar because it's like hooked up. It's Fisher Price. I don't think that's it though. What is this right here? I have no clue. Like the Barbie dream Come rust Barbie. bucket. <laughs> Oh, I didn't even realize, dude. Oh, it's sold. I was gonna say that you can get these right here. <laughs> They're actually, it's already sold though. Somebody picked it up. I definitely would've picked that up. But this isn't what we're looking for exactly. Let's go ahead and check out the rest of the toy section. So we have our mystery bags over here too, guys. What we do on these though is these guys could have anything in them. They have all these different toys inside of them. I'm gonna go through them and try to find the course and stuff that fits for us the best and for the channel's vibe. But we're gonna save all of this surprise for when we get back. But they added two new rows to the toy section. So none of this stuff was here before. But dude, this is the most terrifying thing I've ever seen. <laughs> he uses his fist to propel himself. That's so creepy. And that is unreal. Was that a Mickey Mouse? Yeah, it's kind of cool. It's nice. Well, look at this big Paw Patrol truck. Okay, no, 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 no. Why not? This is my chance right now. Set this straight for the record. You don't, you don't bring this to my attention. Okay. If I decided to talk that's, about it, we'll talk about cool. it. For the most part, you will see this on our hunts absolutely everywhere. Everywhere we go, you will see this logo. It's always gonna come up. We don't hate the show, but it always comes up. So we don't talk. about it. Obviously, I'm passionate, right? The store's getting a little quiet. I don't care. <laughs> I don't care. This is dramatic right now. Yes, yeah, it's serious. They know it's serious. They're like, oh, shit, you're talking about Paw Patrol. Shit, shit, shit. These are pretty cool, though. I do like these Mickey Mouses with the car. We have one there. It looks like we have a little collection of them. You know, now we're starting to find a couple. I almost kind of want to get these guys. They're only $3. We'll hold on to these guys for right now. We'll see what else we find. These are both from Mickey Mouse Clubhouse. Looking around some more, we got, oh, dude, oh, that's so close. It's so ripped up otherwise. Oh, dude, we don't have a Blue's Clues guitar, though. Oh, that that's is sick. new. We have a Blue's Clues guitar with the glitter squiggles right here, the fingerprints. I'm not sure what those really are. But either way, these logos done are on everything. But, dude, not just that. Mitchell found this guy of Pumbaa right here. But I think that this was originally part of, like, a toy set. So since it's missing pieces, we'll leave Pumbaa. But this is definitely clutch. Just keep rock looking. Stand to guitar. Okay. Oh, this guy's pretty cute too, Junior Mickey, but $10 is probably pretty close to what he retailed for, so it'll be him. Okay, Mitchell spotted this one. We definitely can't leave him. We got Bluey. This guy has gotten so popular as of recently, and he's also squeezable with sound with a theme song. That That's is so sick. cute. For $5.99, we'll grab him. Okay, dude. She is, no, I don't grab everything TMNT, but dude, $10 this is such a big profile of Donatello with a skateboard. This we're gonna leave, but check it out. It's like a Darth Vader car. Oh, what the heck? Yeah, he's got the lightsaber on this side. This would be the sickest custom ride ever. Oh my gosh, dude, this is so cute. This is a light of some kind. So this is a, this is definitely gonna be good for the Y2K stuff. Obviously, you guys know I also collect Y2K stuff, early 2000s. So right here, this is Hello Kitty. I love Sanrio. It looks like it has a USB charger right here. I think it actually might plug in as a light. I love it, it's on the skateboard with the glasses. So cute. Oh my gosh, dude, we're finding so much good stuff here. This was really the best idea was to come after New Year's, man. Like, the 
Dude, they have freaking steamboat willy plush. That's so clean too. It's really like so fresh. Do I go with the Barney or the steamboat willy thing? I like steamboat willy a little more. Okay, I think we are gonna do the steamboat willy. I think that one's so cool and it'll look dope in the Disney setup, just kind of sitting somewhere. Yeah. I mean, these where it all started. And this is also a Disney store exclusive. So I think we're gonna pick this guy up. Okay, so we're in the VHS slash DVD section now. We're gonna look around and obviously you know what we're looking for, Nick's own books. But anything Nick can fit the vibe, anything we can find is cool. I mean, we're always trying to grow the Nickelodeon collection, but we're also trying to get that official library status, which is having 1,000 books in your collection. We're working our way up towards that. So let's see if we can find anything to add to that today. Maggie and the Ferocious Beast. That is oh, a Oh, that's so old. Yeah, I forgot about that. That's a deep cut right there. This is our first ever Maggie and Ferocious Beast clip ever added. They were mostly short, so I mean, being able to have any VHS of it is sick. But as you know, Nick Jr., the only thing is we'll have to get the label off, and the condition's not great, but considering we don't have one at all, we'll have to get this one for now. But Mitchell spotted all these guys right here. We're definitely gonna pick up this Toy Story book right here. I'm gonna get this one for sure. But we got Toy Story 2, we got Aladdin, Moana. There are all these storybooks from the, all the Disney films right here. But of course, we're gonna grab just this one right here, being the Toy Story one. Okay, so we got a lot at the first store. We're gonna go ahead and check out, guys, and then we're gonna head to our second location. All right, so we are heading to the next door now, and that is gonna be about 30 to 40 minutes. Usually it's an hour, but because it's raining, I think there's less people on the road, so we're a little lucky. But make sure you guys smash the like button because we are gonna be driving quite a bit for this video. Not just that, we picked up so much stuff. It's hard to see back there right now. We're gonna go over it all when we get back to the cavern. We got a lot of bags, a lot of mystery bags. You guys are gonna be hyped to see. I'm extremely hyped to open. Mitchell even found a vintage booster pack for something that you guys are gonna be surprised that we even found. But I'll update you guys when we get to the next store and see if we can find even more for this haul. Check it out. Oh, who's this? <laughs> we got another one from Bluey. But not just that, dude, we have a super cute Buzz Lightyear here as well for only $2.49. We're picking this one up. So many cute plushies over here, you guys can see. We always aim for the ones that are quick. Where's that piece of pizza with a pizza, tail? Yeah. <laughs> this has legs. <laughs> We got a very washed out Buzz Lightyear. He's seen better days. He has a blue tint over his like, <laughs> yeah. visor, which is kind of sick. But we don't need him. This probably went to something else. I don't know what, but it's kind of messed up on the nose. So we'll leave that guy. But he's super cool as so well. We have a Scooby ship here. It also looks like it's Playmobil or maybe Fisher Price. For the bags, we're gonna look through this entire section, but as you guys know, we'll save it as a little surprise. When we get back to the cavern, I'm already seeing some awesome stuff we're gonna have to pick up. Uh, what do you what do you got there? Yeah, don't worry about it, just to learn a thing or two about how great life is. But right here, guys, we have the VHSs. We're also going to the book, the book section right now in a second. The only thing I see here that's kind of cool is like, I feel like The Incredibles is like one of the last movies that had to be on VHS. So that's kind of a cool one. But other than that, there's nothing Nick or anything we can add to the collection. Especially since most of these are these big box ones that I don't really like to collect as much. So let's go ahead and check out. Oh, dude, do you remember this? I remember seeing this VHS on my freaking oh, like, wow. shelf all the time, but I never watched it. All right, let's keep looking around, guys. If you guys remember any of these VHS, if you remember this in particular, the Babysitter's Club, let me know. But let's keep looking around here, especially in the book section. Okay, guys, so we found Blue's Big Band. I'm gonna leave this guy, but I am gonna grab this MGM Kids Hello Kitty. I've never seen a Hello Kitty disc in the wild before, so we'll grab this so at least I can say I found something. I did say it before we came here. I was like, if we're gonna find one thing, we'll take it, right? Yep. <laughs> and what do we have here? One thing. Exactly, perfect, we're leaving it. Okay, guys, we're gonna be working our way out of here, but we did find the adventures of Fire Red and Leaf Green, the actual manga here. It's uh, apparently by George, he wrote this one. But you can see right here, this is a way darker look at the Pokemon franchise. Right here, you've got Red with his whole team right here. You got a Venusaur, what is that? Snorlax, you got Gyarados, Aerodactyl, Polyrad. Everything, and in one fell swoop, they all got dusted. He's so dusted, he's blacked out. Just, you don't even see six on six battles, but only in the Pokemon Adventures mangas. So we just got out of the savers. I did grab the Scooby-Doo guy, even though I think it might be missing a little piece right there. We'll figure that out. Mitchell's got the bag, all the goods in there. How oh, you like yeah. our second hunt? 
super fun. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's kind of a little bit of adrenaline rush. Yeah. You never know what you're gonna find. Still leaving awesome some awesome stuff that he grew up with too, so that's always a fun of these hunts. So we got some awesome stuff here. We've got one more location to go. Definitely didn't get as much at this one as we did at the first location, but either way, we're gonna find some more at the third location. I know that. Car is getting full, but we gotta make this three trip happen because it's the new year starting off with our biggest hunt yet. Make sure you guys smash like button, subscribe, all that great stuff so you don't miss the rest of the hunts this year. We're at our last location and I'm only going to this last one. We're technically did four stores. We're supposed to go to three. We're technically doing four because the one that we wanted to go to was closed. So at least we're going to two smaller ones to make up for that. This one's our old school Goodwill here. Let's see if they have anything in there. Usually with pretty damn dry. The only thing good at Goodwill is the literal text, the words that are in the front of the building most of the time. <laughs> so let's go ahead and check it out. If you guys have good luck at Goodwill, let me know. If not, and it's kind of rough every area, then also let me know because it feels like that's the case at every Goodwill here. Dude, what is this? That's perfect. Got the Goki Eco Pool box set. It's a game house. So it's got a full house of games inside. It looks like stuff's falling out of it. But honestly, just that little structure is kind of cool. How much are they asking for it? Do you see a price anywhere? Oh, right there, $9. Not bad at all. Okay, we're going to grab this guy. That was sick. Okay, so we're in the toy section. I already see this. It's already been gone through quite a bit, but either way, we're gonna look around. We got the Toy Story right here. We also have the Giant Buzz. I'm gonna leave these guys. We got enough Toy Story stuff today. And also, they could be a little cleaner, but this store is way smaller than Savers, for sure. Okay, guys, so we just came out of that store and actually it was kind of good. We found one thing. We didn't feel too much in there. That place was small as hell, right? Yeah, it was crowded. But regardless, we were able to find something awesome. I found this Diego Game House. I don't really care if all the pieces are in there, honestly, just because I'm a collector. I'm mostly I'm getting this for the storage, just to be able to have something cool we could store stuff in. It's in great shape for the most part, already built with the drawer, all the characters in there. This is gonna go great up on the shelf and something awesome to store some of our random loose Diego and Dora figures. So we're all we're also gonna go to one more store rep pack. So smash the like button. We're going to one more. And Mitchell's like, my hands are filthy. <laughs> How do your hands feel? Feels like I just cleaned up a gas station bathroom, so. Oh, well, that's not. That's too good. <laughs> All right, well, let's get his hands washed after this last store. <laughs> so we got in here. Let's go ahead and check around and see if we can find anything cool. We got a no, grave digger. Yeah, we haven't seen 600 of those today. What about this uh, this elephant here? It's pretty cool. He doesn't have the cleanest looking hose I've ever seen for sure, but we got some stuff. We got Donald Duck here. It's too crazy. We got Mr. Incredible. Oh, yes. Loving you is incredible. <laughs> Yeah, man, that place, that place really sucked. You don't even get in over here. Get on that side. Oh. You just come to tell me it sucks? Yeah. So does this parking. Look at this space. We've been hunting. We've been driving around and hunting for like literally over four or five hours now. So make sure you guys smash the like button. We're going back. We're going to reveal all this awesome stuff. Of course, stay tuned. We're going to add some stuff to the collection. And we still have all those mystery bags to open up and see what's inside of those. All right, so we are back. And check out the table. It is completely full. Usually we get maybe one, maybe two bags. We went to three four locations so we got a lot of stuff here i mean that was pretty awesome we made out you see i told you we'd make out i couldn't believe there was just this much stuff to get <laughs> yeah and i can't believe that we got to make out like i said i can't move that past that mitchell why, why not so i don't think you're committing to it but now that you've done it a little bit if we had our alligator mouths open like we like to do on this channel so our typical thrift store we go to or goodwill being over here on the left that way yeah, yeah. <laughs> We're getting the alligator mouth all the way this way because Goodwill is just too far gone and that company is like the definition of I don't want to say greedy, but I mean everything there is donated, right? Doesn't mean the price is donated. Yeah, the price is done. <laughs> they donated to me, that's for damn sure. But the thing is, is that I just think that they could lower the prices on some things a little bit. I mean, I shouldn't be able to see a freaking Tickle Me Elmo for $70 or a Roly Poly Oli for I don't even remember how much it was last time. $70 as well. It is unbelievable because they literally got it by some Somebody walking in there like, hey, I don't want this anymore. And the whole point of those stores is to sell stuff at a lower price. So that way it helps out the community. But they ain't trying to help no community. Yeah, they're just helping the 1% community. That's it. I don't like that community because I ain't in it. <laughs> All right, guys, let's go ahead and sit down and go through this. I think we start with the bags first. Let's hop into the bags. You guys know there are mysteries. Let's check those out and then we'll get into the main meat. Oh, yeah, baby. Oh, you know, yeah. You know that was in a thrift store, right? You know how many people will probably touch that? It's probably filthy right now. That's disgusting. <laughs> We found so many awesome ones. I'm gonna throw out this one because Mitchell found this one. You guys will see there's so many cool things here. We're not gonna look at it yet though. Oh. They literally didn't see it. Ryan blurted it out. Thank you, Ryan. Yeah, thank you, Ryan. Thank you, Ryan. Thank you, Ryan. 
<laughs> okay, so Mitchell found this, and it came with a booster pack for Harry Potter, the trading card game. But this right here is for the Quidditch Cup. The reason why I was like, oh yeah, we'll grab that guy is because I think this is, yeah, this was made by Wizards of the Coast. Oh, that's crazy. So this is back in the days, almost when Pokemon came out, they released Quidditch Cup. Some of the Harry Potter booster packs are pretty expensive, but let's check it out. I want to see what this single pack goes for. We're going to open it regardless, but I'm just kind of curious what they would go for. Okay, so we found out these packs go for about $10, but if you wanted the booster box, you're looking at $300. Oh, damn. Let's pop this open. I have no clue what we'd even hunt for. Three randomly inserted premium cards, approximately every 10 boosters. Quidditch Cup rules card inserted approximately one out of every six boosters. So look for three randomly inserted premium cards and approximately 10 booster packs. I gotta say, I love the back of the cards oh, there. Yeah, those are cool. Which is actually kind of weird. I feel like his scar in a movie doesn't look the same. I think it's also above like his eye, isn't it? Like, yeah. isn't it one less zig? Yeah, it's like a Z. All right, so we have the, this is the book of Quidditch. This is the book of charms, not texture. This is the golden cauldron. We have Doxy, we have missing parchment. We have blood root poison, desk into pigs, clean sleep seven, research, ouch. And I don't think we got a premium card, but we have bravado, which I think is Draco and his goons right here. But hey, that was a lot, a little fun. We haven't talked about Harry Potter on the channel, so why not? Okay, and then also I forgot there was other stuff in that bag. So <laughs> we have the puzzle right here. And oh my God, we just got the first ever Jojo Siwa item in the collection. And I feel like that was a setup. I think that you just set me up here. I think you saw and you're like, oh, he'll be way distracted by this Harry Potter Quidditch cup because he's a freaking nerd. But you were really trying to get this in here. Well, I'll tell you what, Mitchell. I actually didn't throw it because this is technically one for our Nickelodeon Bros. Vis collection, and it was technically for free. I'll throw this guy into storage. No disrespect to JoJo Siwa whatsoever. But at the same time, I don't really have any room in this collection for JoJo Siwa stuff. Nor do I necessarily think you guys want me to make a JoJo Siwa collection. I'm already diving into Paw Patrol for you guys. But JoJo, that's when I draw my line. And then we have, um, a nice, so we have this My Little Pony puzzle. Nothing too crazy here. Move on to the side. So the next one, we are getting real spongy. I actually snuck this one into the cart. We have a full box of SpongeBob, Tic-Tac-Toe, and Checkers. We do not actually have this in the collection. There is a newer SpongeBob Checkers that was released. It looks much nicer than this, but I wasn't gonna leave this one behind. We got to add something brand new SpongeBob to the collection, and realistically, everything else could have been for nothing if we would have got out with this. <laughs> I don't think it was for nothing, but yeah, it was four hours for looking around so maybe not for nothing but, but honestly, I'm happy with just this item if we can add one new SpongeBob thing to the collection every single video We would still make it a, an amazing collection So if we can add something awesome on the cheap at a thrift store, we're taking it Okay, and then we got this for Mitchell here. We got the Avengers puzzle. You're gonna have fun with that I have to build this no, okay, you have to good. eat this. This is lunch. <laughs> oh, nice. Thanks. It looks like pizza. But this guy, can you even name any of these characters? We're going to give you the same test we did, Parker, but this is for yours is Avengers. So you got Captain America, Iron Man. I honestly don't know. Is that the Ant-Man? Ah, uh, okay. That's the other Iron Man, dude, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> That's Black Iron Man. <laughs> the next up, we have the Frozen puzzle. This is a whole bin of puzzles. We're not necessarily going to keep this, but at the end of the day, I had to get the SpongeBob checkers, so those came with it. All right, this next one, Mitchell actually spotted it was this Dexter right here he saw oh my Whoa. Dexter <laughs> but we were trying to figure out oh that is so sick what I didn't know it was a tape measure that's sick <laughs> but this is an actual tape measure when we were in there I thought it could have been broken but if you look at it close it's actually Dexter on his machine I think it's one of my favorite items today how do we withdraw it though oh you just bring the wheel back so you push the wheel this way and it slowly sucks up the actual tape measure but if we bring it this way you can see on there we've got characters like Dee Dee, we've got monkey simon we also have dexter but it says right here it says size of dexter's brain and it goes all the way out to here and then it says size of monkey's brain and then Dee Dee's brain is just straight up to here and then this little pool tab we have right here this is patrick the star <laughs> Dumb people are always blissfully unaware of how dumb they really are. So this is amazing and definitely going to go in the Cartoon Network collection. I seriously, another one of the items, my favorite items for today. 
What? I didn't even know this was in here. We actually found a mic from Monsters Inc. That is a dope one. We'll have to take a look at that one a little bit later. All joking aside, as always with Mike, we try to cover him up because it's just fun. But his eye actually moves and he is honestly incredibly detailed. I don't know what this was released under. 2019 Mattel, so it's not too old, but man, I love this figure. Especially once you get him standing, that's a great representation of the character. And then you can adjust that eye and have him looking up, down, wherever you really want him to go. That is a lot of fun. Love it. Like in this bag. This bag is pretty dang good. Oh, I spoke a little too soon. We have two from Wakanda forever. Which, I'm not saying these are bad, but like, I cannot see the difference between these ones and the Avengers ones, the Thor ones, the Eternals ones. They keep doing these like wannabe Funko Pop things, I guess. Honestly, I'm not a huge fan of them. But we have that one right there. And then we have Namor, which a fun fact about Namor, he is in the actual Wakanda Forever movie. But because of the fact that I think Universal may own some of the rights to a few movie characters, like including the Incredible Hulk, we will never see a Namor solo movie and you'll never see a Hulk solo movie because if they were to make that a majority of the money, it would be going back to Universal. And at the end of the day, we all know Disney and Marvel. They want to keep the check. So they just make these characters side characters. So this is probably the only time we're gonna see Namor, which is really, really cool being in Wakanda forever. Right, we're moving on to the next bag here. We got a few different variety items in here. These are all meal toys, but it's a lot of them in here. And if you guys don't know on whatnot, if you guys aren't already following me on whatnot, make sure you guys go follow. I do giveaways literally all stream along. And also throughout the night, I'm giving away random little stuff like this to people too. So having extras and bonuses in the collection are always a good, cause that way I can give them back to you guys. But anyway, we got this guy right here. We have Hi Hi from Moana right here. This is for the Disney's world. Ryan's popped up on screen the entire line for this. It is gigantic. We are not even gonna be able to complete that whole line, I am sure. But let's go ahead and see what we got here. So it comes with a little piece of the actual Disney world. Do you know what this is, Mitchell? No, actually I don't. So this right here is actually Spaceship Earth and it's located in Orlando, Florida at Disney World. And they're also still waiting for a giant sized Tiger Woods to come hit it. But nobody came, so they just decided to build like rides in it and stuff. But yeah, that we got that, we got that there. <laughs> but right here we also have, I'm gonna leave this guy sealed because we already have him in the collection. We have the Death Egg Robot from the Sonic Movie 2 storming through right here, a Paramount franchise, so really cool one. We have the Lion King, but this is the live action one. But you get this little pog in here that says, hey parents, enter a chance to win. To win what? Sign for magic at McDonald's. You didn't say anything back about what you get. What do I get? The two lions in the front? <laughs> I've seen what happens at those Vegas shows, man. I don't want a wildcat living in my house. And then we have one for Returnals. Like I said, bro, this is Parker. <laughs> 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 we straight up got Parker. But right here, these guys look all the same. Like they all are the same. They're just kind of weird. Not a huge fan of these guys. But I do like the Marvel movies. Just not the McDonald's toys that much. All right, now these are those little things you get at like the arcade or the movie theaters, a the donut shop, laundromat, wherever other places that you go when you don't got a lot of money. Because I've been to all those places as a kid. Yeah. Laundry mat. Especially, we had a, we did not have a working laundry machine for like a period of like two years. So we would go to the laundry mat, and I would always buy wrestling stickers, different type of stuff like this. But I am, I love these little capsules, man. These capsules are so much fun. These things are so iconic to people's childhood that, that literally the Pokemon franchise in the 90s is named Capsule Monsters, based off of these style capsules. So these capsules definitely deserve some respect. But inside of all of these, you have these little like I don't know what is what would you say crochet? Yeah, I guess like, like a crochet. Yeah, like a string knitted crocheted character. I mean, that one's Green Lantern at least. Which Green Lantern? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> this yeah, is Hal yeah. Jordan. Next up we've got, ooh, that is interesting. A pink uh, Wonder, Wonder Woman. Woman. <laughs> these are rough, dude. We have another Green Lantern. Dude, why do these look like they were voodoo dolls made for Chalk Zone? Yeah. They're weird. Oh, there we go. Two Supermans in one capsule. They are kind of weird looking, but if you look at them a little bit longer, they start to get a little cute. So We'll give them a little respect on their name. And not just that, you would have probably had to pay like a dollar each for these, and we got them all for two dollars, so not bad. And the best part is, I get to keep these. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. It's kind of hard to hear you through that container. It's miraculous how this camera is just floating here. Oh, well, the, the real thing is, you're still there, and you're still there too. I think I just threw a part of you. Is it a part you need? I don't think so. I think you might need your pinky. <laughs> <laughs>
Okay, so right here we have these guys. These are little minis they had at McDonald's with their Pixar theme. We do not have the Dory one in the collection. She's so cute. And because she doesn't have legs, they put like a little bit of like vegetation from the ocean. So that way she looks like she's floating. I love that one. And then we've got a very adorable Jack-Jack with one tooth there. We love Jack-Jack here. His little hair too is perfect. And then we've got another Jack-Jack. And then we've got another Jack-Jack. That makes us Jack-Jack, Jack-Jack, Jack-Jack. When Ray Charles made that song, Song. Hit the road, Jack. I found out where they all went. All right, so we got an awesome plushie set here. We're only gonna need two of these guys. So the Jack Jacks, they'll go to whatnot as a giveaway too. Next up, we have a whole bag of Toy Story ones here. And whenever I see these ones filled with the meal toys, if it's something that I'm trying to collect, we'll grab as many of them as we can. So it looks like that's a new one we don't have. Looks like this one's gonna be awesome. And this one we definitely, so this one we've already seen on the channel. Ryan will pop it up right now. We've already seen this one on the channel. So we're not gonna go through that one. But let's pop open these other ones we've got right here. So right here we have Bo Peep and I think all of these are based off of some kind of like game that you could play at the fair. So it looks like Bo goes right here and then you'd line up all of these little guys and then once you have all the milk containers mounted you just swing her around. That was really anticlimactic but <laughs> you swing her around just like that and she just smacks down the container which is super cool. I wish that's how that game worked and you could actually do that. That would be super convenient but definitely a dope one and an awesome little Bo Peep figure. This one has got to be my favorite one though, man. And that's because we have all the little green aliens here. Check it out. And it seems like we're going to be playing some kind of maybe whack-a-mole with them. It comes with stickers, so we could definitely design this as well. And it looks like these stickers are actually, oh my God. If we put all of these together, you can make the entire family's RV. What? That is amazing! I'm gonna keep track of all these stickers so we can actually make that full-blown setup because they all come with these tickets too. You got Jesse, some of the characters, and tickets. But what do we actually do on this guy? Okay, so it's literally whack-a-mole, but press on them and it just brings up a different one. So at no point can you actually get all of them down. So you just be going like this trying to keep up with it. And I'm not gonna lie, a little feeling on the top of his head kind of hurts a little. Yeah. <laughs> but that's that's a lot of fun. It's such a cool piece to have on display. And let's check out this next one we've got here. So we have a forky centered one right here with a little rack ladder on it. So that must be the back. We, this must be the back like you said, but I was trying to see like, what do you actually do with the individual toy then? And it looks like what it is, is it goes inside of here and he actually is supposed to fling him. Into the trash. Into the garbage. Oh. <laughs> and if you watch the film, he wanted to be trash, so it, it's okay. An hilarious character as well, but a little sad saying that you have to be the one to throw him in the trash. <laughs> Now these ones right here are an interesting one because I think they would have came with stickers or something like that. Cause don't they do you look very plain? This is Zerg's ship. Should be windows or something at least. Yeah. Something, so he presses button here and it pops open his visor and you can see Zerg is right there inside. These are super cool, but Ryan will pop them up on screen. I have a feeling that some of these have to be missing parts, but right here we also have socks, we have Hawthorne, and of course we have Mr. Buzz Lightyear. All these are really cool. I just, like I said, I hope Hopefully they're not missing any stickers. But either way, I'm so glad that we got to add some of these to the Toy Story collection, even if I just add this Buzz and this Zerg. All right, so moving on to this one right here, I honestly wish I would have left it behind because I grabbed it for the Ninja Turtle, but I now am realizing that he's missing his shell. That kind of ruins him a little bit, but we also grabbed this right here, and I don't know what this is, but it says it's from Burger King in, I'm not even sure what year, but it looks like he pressed this and it kind of gives him flight wings. <laughs> Come on, keep flapping. Keep flapping, you can do it! He's going, Mitchell! He's going! But you guys can study he has like the sonic flash right here, which is kind of cool. I think it be that or uh, him letting out a nice, thick, steamy, smog-filled fart. This is from Burger King, obviously, but I just kind of thought he was cool, so I grabbed it. But like I said, I mainly grabbed it for the Ninja Turtle. And we also have a Mr. Incredible in here. He's like, no, don't forget me with this awkward pose. All right, and I can't even lie, this has got to be the best item we found of the bags, and that is this Woody on RC. He he is beautiful. And I mean that like quite literally every spot of him is spotless. And that is the thing that you deal with when you go to the thrift stores or flea markets. The most of the stuff there is yeah. a little bit ringed up compared to the stuff we find at like Target's, Walmart. But dude, check that guy out. This is a very, very rare circumstance at a thrift store. So this piece is an amazing one. And when it, it just makes it even cooler, dude, just check out the tread, dude. Go ahead and feel that. Oh, wow. You remember those? Tread, yeah. It's got a real tread. You remember those old school RC cars that had those little nipples in the bottom of the car? Yeah, they gripped everything. But why do RCs need 
his little nipples, but our cars don't got nipples. I don't want my car to have some nipples. It's probably because that actually grabs the carpet. Oh, you're right, because for carpet indoors. That's a good point. But what makes this extra special is that this one is a Disney Parks exclusive, so you would have been able to pick this up at the Disney Parks. This is seriously a classic item. It was $10 retail at Disney Parks, so you know it would be way more than that now. An awesome piece. I can't wait to add to the Toy Story collection. But we are done with the bags. The bags came out hidden. What is your favorite item from the bags? I mean, I gotta pick up my standalone, like, I stay in the alone. Everybody, come take my hat. Okay, I gotta go with this guy, this guy. I mean, I have some favorites here, of course, but I mean, these are some of my favorites in here. What are you calling out your favorite from the bags today? Honestly, I'm gonna have to go with Dexter, honestly. That's probably my favorite one. Yeah, he's super unique. I love that little, like, tape measure, too. And it's something you could use, also. So, we have all these guys. Stick around. We're gonna add this stuff to the collection. But we gotta get into the main stuff, which is all the big items that we got today. So, let's do it. Okay, so the next item we got here, literally somebody on the way out the store. Do you remember that? Yeah. They true. actually was like, ah, oh, that is a really nice Hello Kitty. So she definitely would have picked this up. There was a lot of people there that were on the look, so I was surprised we found anything, but we ended up finding this Hello Kitty light, and I think she is so adorable. Let's go ahead and plug her in and see if the light still works. Miss Kitty White, can we get some light? Oh, damn. Oh, dude, it's got three different settings to it. I just thought it was like really dim. I almost didn't thought it turned on the first time, That's but then cool. it goes on all the way. This is a perfect night light, and there's a little bit of scuffage in here, but it's actually not scuffage. All of this just wipes off so it is like brand spanking new and super cute she's on a little skateboard with her glasses i love it and as you guys know i'm trying to create a y2k collection which honestly i don't even know what i'm gonna do with it i'm just kind of building it up maybe we'll end up auctioning and giving away most of the stuff on the collection but either way i just want to build it up because it was a huge part of my childhood too being that i have an older sister and hell kitty's adorable so that's gotta be one of our grails for today. Like imagine if that would've been a light up SpongeBob. That would've been crazy, yeah. Or you would've been flipping around this room. So that for sure has to be a collection classic because if you were a Hello Kitty fan, that is such an awesome, huge profile piece, something that'd be a centerpiece in your collection. And the next one we got here is a professional skateboarder and also a pizza eating king and also huge lover of partying and pizza. We got Mikey. <laughs> oh, oh, impossible. Another impossible. Tail slide. Oh, this is a combo. It's a Tony Hawk Pro Skater rule. So boom, he lands into a manual that keeps that whole combo going. And then boom, he goes for a grind. You know, he's trying to use the analog stick to keep balance. You know how that goes. Yeah. Man, we just broke the high score in DMNT Pro Skater 3. Unbelievable piece here. We have the Mikey on a skateboard. This is an RC car where he would be revving forward just like that. But the reason I picked this guy up is because look at how big this is. Like that's just yeah. sweet. And I gotta say, I gotta give him points for riding the skateboard properly. But the original Jumbo Donatello and Michelangelo and all those guys I'm saying, they were four feet tall, they were life size, and they were for the Nickelodeon release of the show. I wished we had them in the collection, but now those individual figures go for like 400 to 500 dollars. Just because they're Jumbo size of TMNT characters, but they're not even that old. And I remember when they were at Target on the shelves, I just didn't pick one up because I just did not know at that time that I was gonna want one later down the line. But now I regret it. But at least we were able to get this awesome skateboarding Mikey right here. So this is an awesome one to add to the collection, a huge profile. You guys know how it is with TNT. You probably won't see it on a huge play piece in the room here, but an awesome one to add to the vault. Okay, another sweet piece we have here is the Buzz Lightyear to Infinity and Beyond Lunchbox. This one is not in perfect shape, but there's no significant dents in it. And that's key what I'm looking for. We can clean this guy up for sure and have a brand new lunchbox in the Toy Story collection. Again, keeping everything under $20. And dude, try to guess who this was made by. The Tim Box. The Tim, there ain't nobody Tim The Tin Box Company. <laughs> the Tin Box Company. <laughs> so we have the Toy Story logo up here on top too. Seriously, just an awesome piece. And another lunch box, one of my favorite things to collect just in general. And now we have a guitar that can only play blues. You like that, Mitchell? I like Mario for a second. <laughs> yeah, that sounds like you're entering a door in like a <laughs> Japanese game. <laughs> no, sorry, I got tuned this guy real quick. But up there we have the Wiggles guitar and somebody actually in a fan mail was like, hey, that's from Playhouse Disney, you gotta take it down. Shut up! 
<laughs> Talk it here. I think this would be the perfect item to replace that Wiggles guitar, considering it's all right there with all the blues pushed up already. It's almost like it was made for that spot, right? It's like the exact same shape too, yeah. Yeah, so we're gonna put this guitar up there instead of the Wiggles one. I'm gonna put the Wiggles one in the vault because we already have another Wiggles guitar out there. We'll just continue to grow that collection. But we got the Blues Clues guitar here. I gotta say I'm a huge fan of all the stuff coming out from the resurgence of Blues Clues. And even the little, this little thing here on the guitar is, is cute. Then we've got the peanuts tree here, and this one will take long to set up at all. You literally get this, you fold it over here, and then you twist it in. So this is the classic Christmas tree from Peanuts. I've killed it. Oh, everything I touch gets ruined. Okay, so it looks like we got it as close as we could. It's not perfect here. And then it actually has Linus's blanket, which is classic. He never goes anywhere without it. And that kind of just wraps around it like this. So if we could find that little red ornament, it kind of would look pretty damn close to the original. I gotta say, I'm a fan of it. Like, I think that it could have been built better, but to get a peanuts tree, it's a 2016 item. I feel like they don't still make it. So I'm glad we picked it up. So next up, we also found this bluey and it's $5.99, as I said, in the last video, I learned a little bit about Bluey and that Bluey is actually named after the longest living dog of all time. He lived to be 27 years old. What is the oldest pet you've ever had in your life? Like 15. So 15 is the limit. For me, it's Daisy. She's 14. It's right up there, yeah. Yeah, it's right up there. But 27, that's double Daisy almost. That's unbelievable. So I'm learning a little bit more, but I can't wait to watch the show. As you guys know, I just finished up Avatar. I'm watching All Real Monsters right now, trying to finish that show. There's so many amazing anime shows to watch, but this is on it. But I wanted to pick him up while we saw him. And he's Squeeze Bluey. Idea. For real life. Do this. You get the theme song? Idea. Some audio bites? This sound really cute. I gotta say, I'm a big fan of this one. This guy right here, man. He is cool <laughs> like that. Tell me who owns you. Tell me. Tell me who owns you. Yeah, that's right. It's the mouse, baby. Simpson. X-Men. The goddamn Muppets. We own all that shit. Star, Wars. Star, Star, Star Wars. You everything. We own it. <laughs> this is Mickey Mouse, the Steamboat Willie. He is so cute. I can't wait to have him sitting up on the Disney shelf. We have a whole shelf dedicated to Mickey. I think this guy would be awesome to be sitting up there on the shelf. It's an awesome representation of where all of Disney got started. And uh, Oswald, Oswald, get out of here. Nobody remembers you. Go. Yeah, exactly. We're all started with Disney. Then we found one more there, and it was Barney. I decided not to leave Barney. I just decided he was too cute. And he's from 2002, a little bit later for Barney, because he actually was kind of starting to phase out by that point. Point. Probably one of the last Barney products they have released and you can't you can't complain about Barney and Barney is definitely a huge part of my childhood as well I, Did you watch Barney growing up sometimes? Yeah, yeah I think everybody just ended up somehow watching an episode or two of Barney especially since it was on public broadcast television So everybody had that channel Barney and friends is made possible by contributions to your PBS station from viewers like you Okay, and then we got some media there. We got the Spongebob movie. <laughs> if you guys don't know already, along with all the collections that we got going on here, I'm also trying to create the world's biggest Spongebob movie collection and have the most physical copies of the Spongebob movie, being that it's my favorite film of all time. This is just another one to add to that file. Then next up, we have the Maggie and the Ferocious Beast. I used to love this show. I feel like both of us probably like remember this show so little that I can name what I remember. For me, I remember a specific episode where I think it was the pig. He was looking for something inside of a box. Like it was a big box. It was almost like endless. And he just kept pulling out new things. Ryan will play the clip. Oh. Hey ho, come on, let's go to Nowhere Land. With Maggie and the ferocious beast. But the, the pig was kind of like the voice of reason, you know? Like he was the smart, kind of like Squidward guy. And then Maggie and the Ferocious Beast were kind of wild. Do you remember anything from the show? No, I don't. Just the yellow guy. I can't think of his name. Did you remember they used to peel off his spots? Oh, yeah. It's kind I of think disgusting. I do, yeah. Like he's a pepperoni pizza. Like you can't just be taking off my man's skin. But they would lose his spots. He would like lose his spots. And some of the episodes would be based around them trying to find those spots. Really an amazing show. And I don't think it had a lot of episodes. It usually for me, was was always a show they put in between other shows. But nonetheless, this is our first ever Maggie and the Ferocious Beast item that we've been able to add to the collection. And if we can find some more merchandise, or if you guys want me to just do a whole video called The Great Merch of the Forgotten Nick, we will definitely do a, a video where I try to find products online or in person, probably in like them, I have to do it online. I have some obscure Nickelodeon shows that you might not even think have products. All right, then after that, Mitchell found this banger, and that is, dude, right here, literally our duo, RC and Woody right here, and then we have Buzz with the rock. 
rocket that Sid had strapped on his back. <laughs> it's definitely a weird one. You can write your Space Ranger name right here. Of course, it has an awesome story with an amazing illustration. Considering the whole movie CG, it's a really good adaptation for sure. But I gotta say, this is my favorite book we found, and we have the original Scooby-Doo, not Monsters Unleashed, the first ever 2003 Scooby-Doo film. An absolutely amazing cast here, dude. Check this out. The amazing Sarah Michelle Gellar, who played Daphne. We have Freddie Prince Jr., who played Fred. We have Matthew Lillard, who's Shaggy, and Linda Cardellini, who's Velma. But Linda Cardellini still does the voice for Velma every now and then, and Matthew Lillard still does Shaggy to this day. These two are married in real life. There's so many awesome connections here. This is my first introduction to Scooby-Doo. Like, I had watched, I think, maybe Scooby-Doo before that, but definitely I started liking Scooby-Doo and being interested in it after seeing the films. And I gotta say, freaking Daphne's karate scene. Come oh, on. Yeah. <laughs> that was sick. That was dope. So much so that Daphne's character, even today, still practices and uses karate in multiple different series, just like in What's New. So the whole book just kind of goes over the characters, the different relationships, and the actors that played them. Right here we have Shaggy with his girlfriend, Mary Jane. <laughs> this is kind of a cool one. And then over here it says Scooby-Doo as himself, as if like nobody played the actor. Like he just, the voice just came from Scooby. <laughs> yeah. Unbelievable. Ryan will put the actual credited voice actor for that film. That way we give the guy some credit. Super awesome. Can't wait to add this to the Scooby-Doo room, considering I have this movie on VHS sealed. Okay, so right here we have the Etch-A-Sketch that we found at the next Sabres we went to. And this guy is so cool because I've never seen one that had a joystick like this. That's kind of like a nose. Let's go ahead and try and draw Spongebob from that. This is going to be rough, Mitchell. I'm going to warn you. We're going to draw his eye. We're going to draw his other eye. We're going to draw his smile. You don't see Spongebob in this. I mean, it's coming out. <laughs> There's Spongebob. There's our best 30-second Spongebob. <laughs> All right, so there we go. We got that guy into the collection. Not going to the Nickelodeon collection, but I'm definitely going to play around with that guy. Although I may not be the best at it, I definitely love drawing and art and that kind of stuff. So I'm definitely going to have fun with that dude. Let's get on to the next item. All right, now this one I don't think is. We've seen a few of the Bluey characters before. I don't know if it's Bingo, but this is another one of the characters from Bluey. And again, I wasn't going to leave it behind for the price that we saw it for. And I know that I'm going to enjoy Bluey. It's almost like with Avatar Last Airbender. I hadn't watched it yet, but now that I've watched Avatar, as I suspect, I knew I was gonna love it and the same thing with Bluey. I have a feeling I'm really gonna like the show So I figure I pick up the products since we're still able to see it So we got two of them right here today to add to the collection really really cute and I'm a huge fan of animals in general I mean obviously every video starts off my dog because I love dogs so much Scooby-Doo I'm a huge fan of Blue's Clues I'm a huge fan of mostly because they had dogs in them and then I started to like the shows So Bluey might be the same thing flying up next. We've got Maximum chin dimple dude his chin is the same thing. They always put on everything it's Blue's Clues. So it is. Yeah! Maybe Naruto got inspired by this. Conspiracy theory. <laughs> this is the Uzumaki logo, it's Buzz Lightyear's chin, and it's also the Blue's Clues squiggle thing. But he's got awesome like wings too that are made out of like a harder material. He's just so cute though. The whole body form factor is nice as well. And only for two bucks, I could not leave my man behind. Another Buzz Lightyear to add to the collection. This is for Disney Baby Line, our first Disney baby product to add in there. Again, keeping our Toy Story collection under $20. This guy is definitely gonna be clutch. All right, following up here, we have this which is so wild to me. I am not 100% sure what everything in here does. I just got it because I figured one day in life as we have more room, right now I'm not gonna have the room for this because we have a Scooby-Doo mansion that came in on fan mail, which will be on screen, along with one coming very, very soon as well that are gonna be in the collection. So having another structure is gonna take up a lot of room in the variety room. So we'll save this in the vault for one day when the Scooby-Doo section can expand because this thing has so many awesome pieces to it. So all these different character points do stuff. So if you put a character here and twist them, It'll actually drop this door down here. If you twist it the other way, it'll drop this door over here. Boom, just like that. So these would be traps for the villains, just like Freddy would plan. And then over here, we pull this one down. It actually relieves this lever. So that way it lets out whoever is in here. And they can actually, you see that it actually pushes this piece up too. And it helps them roll all the way down here. So this thing will be so cool to put in the room. We have different characters kind of posed on it along with other stuff. The more and more of these type of structures you get the play sets, the bigger of a world you can actually build for 
or display. The only thing that I'm not 100% sure off is Mitchell was saying that right in here, you push this down and it opens this door. I feel like there was something that was right here and I also feel like there could have been something that attached right here maybe. We're not 100% sure, it's definitely not complete, but even if it was just for the couple bucks of us getting to play around with it, I decided to get it. I like this guy a lot. And it's a big piece to be able to have in a collection, at least just for display. All right, next up, this is gonna go with that Y2K stuff I'm talking about. Right here, we have some actual episodes of the Hello Kitty TV show. Most people probably don't even know that Hello Kitty has a show because they would probably think about the main brand Sanrio. They've got stores all over America and pretty much everybody knows Hello Kitty at this point because it's such a merchandising juggernaut. So we're gonna add this with that five episodes. I will pick up any other ones we find in the future and just keep adding it to the Y2K collection. If you guys wanna see a Y2K collection update, let me know. I have a whole box that we're filling up with all the Y2K stuff. We could definitely do an update on that very soon. Do you have any memories growing up with Hello Kitty? Uh, not the original, no, but uh, I've seen a few on Robot Chicken. Definitely not the same tone. Okay, so we got those guys right there. The next one that we got is the Seen It, and all we're doing on this one is checking it out because we have this one right here, but you can see my original box right here for comparison. You know, these kind of things do matter on this channel, so you guys see this one's got some sticky stuff here on the IT here. The major scrapage. This one's not perfect either, but it's definitely a whole lot better. And if we check it out inside of here, it looks like it does have all of the pieces. Let's go ahead and check it out and confirm. So after reviewing my other one to make sure, yes, every single piece is in here so we have the seen it board with squidward doing the thing and libby with her original hair <laughs> But it has all the figures, including SpongeBob, Aang, Angelica, and also Cosmo and Wanda. So we have another complete version of the scene in the collection. But this one's box is way better. So I might even, once we do the renovating in here, I could even maybe add this to the background just because it's such an awesome profile, man. To be able to see Danny, Aang, a little cat scratch, Cosmo, Jimmy, Wanda, don't wanna forget her. Uh, unbelievable box. And something that you would net this something that would literally only be birthed in the 2000s, right? Like you would never yeah. see this nowadays. Nowadays, it would be seen it. Paw Patrol would be here. Bubble Guppies up here. And maybe they throw SpongeBob in up here with Shimmer and Shine up there. Yeah. <laughs> So, and that stuff's great too, but this is definitely all the shows that I grew up loving, so an awesome piece to add to the collection with a way better box. All right, guys, we had a lot to go through and we are cutting it very, very short. The video's taking a lot of time, so make sure you smash the like button. Again, I would greatly appreciate it. And make sure you guys show some love to Mitchell in the comments down below. This is one of his first videos, like really where he's been on camera too. And you guys gotta remember, he's new to this too, so make sure you guys show him some support down below in the comments. But our last item here we've got is the Go Diego Game House. I'm gonna be honest, I don't really care about the games as much. I'm sure a lot of these tiles, a lot of these little figures are probably missing, but let's go ahead and grab out the main piece here. And that is this full blown Go Diego Go table. Like, uh, like look at all this stuff pouring out of here. I mean, there is pieces in here, but honestly, it's so jumbled up and like a mess. <laughs> let's just get all that stuff out. But this is what I got it for, this full blown display. So right here you have Diego over here with the leopard. You have him with the sloth, and oh, a little cameo. Oh, we got damn. Dora. She's like the Nick Fury bringing all the Hispanic Nickelodeon shows together. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. But we got the drawer that goes right in through here. This could actually be technically considered a piece of Nickelodeon furniture. We could put this on any shelf in a collection, or even in this collection, and it wouldn't take up too much room. Just use as an elevator. We have so many items in this room that are elevated by plastic risers. This could be a riser for anything. Nickelodeon put it up here especially anything Diego or Dora themed but if you want to put anything on here and have it in conjunction with a bunch of other stuff in your display it would work so that's why I got this guy for $8 it's an amazing piece I gotta say I'm a huge fan of this guy but that is actually it I think we got everything did we cover everything Mitchell see si. uh me gusta that response I don't that's all I know <laughs> But that is actually it for this one, guys. Stick around, I'm gonna add some of this stuff to the collection. You'll see where I put it in the room here or in the other collections across this house. But with that being everything, you guys are the drill. Scan it. That looks sick, dude. Yeah, he looks super clean. <laughs> Do you dare me to try and lower myself down from here? No, I don't trust that. <laughs> don't trust that or me. <laughs> Maybe a little both. <laughs> All right, dude, that looks sick. 
sick as a hell up there. Okay, he looks dope. You guys know how this happens. I said originally I was never gonna add anything TMNT in here, anything Paw Patrol, but as a Nickelodeon fan and just a guy who loves a lot of things, it slowly infected me, Mitchell. The Nick slime runs through my veins, so I couldn't help but put the TMNT Michelangelo skateboarding up there. He just looks too sick, man, with the he skateboard. Looks clean. Yeah, like, we're gonna have any TMNT representation in here. Michelangelo on the skateboard, that's iconic as it gets. Only thing that could be different if my man was holding a slice of pizza. Okay, so down here is the SpongeBob movie collection. These are all different copies of the SpongeBob <laughs> movie. You know what's sad is that this whole row is just like, that's smaller than the last 10 years of Scooby-Doo movies. That's true. <laughs> He's got a lot of movies. But SpongeBob has only got three, and this one's my favorite. So we have the SpongeBob movie, another copy added to the collection. So we have 13 copies of the SpongeBob movie in there that are just the regular copy. Of course, we have special editions, different things like that, but the regular copy we have 13 of now. All right, so now it's for the retirement theme. Ryan just invented a, a retirement theme because I think we should give a little bit of representation, a little bit of respect for the Wiggles guitar. It has been in the cavern here for a little time. It has given us a lot of smiles. It has been here in the background. You have seen him for a while. So I feel like it deserves to get its own little moment, but we are gonna be taking it out of the collection for right now because technically this one is a Playhouse Disney guitar. So we're gonna be swapping it out with the Blues Clues one. Ah, oh, man, I hate to make these guys look at their demise. <laughs> Like, they might write a song about it. They could write a song about it, you know, and it might <laughs> bop, you know, it's a Taylor Swift effect. But he's just like, come on, man. Like, what? What? Because I'm, I'm a brown dog and not a blue dog? Like, what? What the hell? We got a blue guy. But we want you to go ahead and take our red guitar here. We're going to go ahead and add this Blues Clues blue guitar. And I can't lie, this fits here a lot better, right? It looks more fitting being blue instead of red, you know, where everything else is blue. <laughs> that's, that's a good point. Okay, so we're gonna be adding to our VHS's here and you guys can see this whole section is getting jam-packed We've got games literally coming out the wazoo. We got tax coming out the juju all types of stuff right here But there is gonna be a place to display this very soon Let me show you what's gonna be happening with the books these guys right here We just built and painted the new bookshelves. They match identically with the bookshelves that we already have Thank God shout out to Target for maintaining the same brand So I got two just in case we have enough room for this right here. Ryan's going to blur it out a little bit, but there's still a lot of room here. And the reason why Ryan's blurring it out is because there's going to be a full length video on counting all the books, cleaning them up and putting them into the collection, hopefully soon to be labeled library. So you guys can see the process is starting to happen. So those bookshelves are going to be added and we're going to have plenty of room for books for a long time. And then for the VHSs, we're going to have a huge shelf that's going to be going up this direction. I'm going to move the Squidward artwork into the back of the room where we're going to have a whole little art gallery. And you also see there's a couple pieces of missing there. We're doing a lot of little maintenance around here to get things going. But without further ado, let's go ahead and add Maggie and the Ferocious Bees, our first piece from this show to the collection. And it is not the best shape, but it is okay because it's our only one. I'm just gonna go ahead and put it right here because eventually we'll be able to have all these VHSs up on that shelf along with the DVDs, games, everything. We're gonna have plenty of room for all that stuff very soon. Okay, so for the SpongeBob checkers and tic-tac-toe, I'm gonna go ahead and put it down here in the board game section. You will notice the board game section is a little bit thinner right now. And that is because I removed some of the Door of the Explorer games, some of the Blue's Clues ones, and also some of the puzzles are still here, but I'm gonna slowly move these into a different place as well. Maybe some going in the vault, because if we're not gonna build the puzzles, they're great to have in the collection, but for the room that we're displaying everything, I think we should keep it in games that we're gonna be able to play right here on the table. So right here we have the Blueys that we picked up today. The Bluey collection is slowly starting to grow. We don't have much, but I have to say, I am starting to literally fall in love with these characters. They are so cute. I am a absolute, like, like, victim, what is the word? Uh, I fall very victim to dogs. I think they're so cute. I say a victim because they literally own me. Like, if your dog's cute and is nice, like, literally, I will be on the floor waiting on them hand and foot. Like, dogs are so amazing. So, these guys are so cute together. I want to find the size appropriate one here for Bingo, but we'll just keep growing this little bluey collection. Okay, so for that really cute buzz, I went ahead and added him right here next to our adorable Squishmallow. Then over here, we added the Woody with RC, and this one is in amazing shape, so I want to add him right here next to my original Woody growing up. He got a little bit of dust on his hat. My man's been sleeping there for the last two and a half years. <laughs> I love this collection so much and I say it every single time I'm so proud of it. 
everything on this shelf was under $20. So an amazing collection, we're still growing and I can't wait to see how much further we push this thing. So for the Disney shelf, you guys know I'm working on getting all of the Funko Pops down from here just so we can make it more centralized around the all the different items we find on the journeys. I'm gonna go ahead and put him right down here, just kind of like he's checking out our adorables down there. Kind of creepy a little bit how his eye just moves around. I would ever come in here and he's just like, that would terrify me forever. <laughs> But I think I like him right there. Just kind of checking out our adorables and the rest of the room, everything we got going on in here. Okay, and for the Steamboat Willie, I'm gonna clean him up a little bit more, but I wanted to show you guys where I'm gonna be putting him in the collection. So up here we have the modern Mickey Mouse that we have. We found this actually at a thrift store too. We have all the Mickey Mouse right here from the 90th anniversary. We also have the Sleeping Beauty Castle with Walt Disney himself with little Mickey Mouse. And then over here we have the whole Steamboat Willie like section slash collection with Steamboat Willie, the plush that we just found today. Day. I think this set looks completely awesome. This is seriously one of my favorite shelves in the entire collection. Not even just the Disney collection, but the entire collection. Okay guys, so right now at the renovation, this room is always just the short end of the stick and always becomes a little bit of a small like uh, temporary storage room. Working on some new stuff in this room this year too, but the Scooby-Doo Complete Movie Scrapbook is gonna go down here with all of our other books and Scooby-Doo Media. And we don't have really a specific Dexter section, but we do have this Dexter's Laboratory trading card game. I'm gonna go ahead and put it right here next to that. For right now and I'm sure once we get more Dexter and other Cartoon Network stuff that spot might change. Alright guys so that is actually it for this video. I had so much fun with you guys as always. We got to go to three locations so make sure you smash the like button down below and let me know what was your favorite thing that we found today in this video. I have to say for me it was the TMNT Michelangelo. I really would have never expected that would be my favorite thing for today but that thing is so awesome. Such a huge piece to add to the collection. What was your favorite from today? I gotta say mine was the Dexter. Oh yeah that thing was so cool and I love the little joke on the actual ruler itself. About the brains, yeah. yeah. That was perfect. You guys let us know your favorite down below, but also check out this video on your screen right here, which is the last epic video on this channel. I know you guys are going to love it, and make sure you guys subscribe. We're nearing 50,000 subscribers so soon, and there's going to be so many awesome videos coming for that and for the rest of this year, so make sure you subscribe. But that is actually it for this one, and as always, Rep Pack, I will see you beautiful people in the next one. Adios. Bloop.